guys, this is Thule. Do any of these careers seem appealing to you? If so, the business and industry endorsement is for you. Texas graduation requirements require all students must earn 22 credits in the foundation graduation plan. Check out this chart. In addition to the 22 credits in the foundation graduation plan, students who want to earn an endorsement must take four additional courses in the endorsement area. To earn the distinguished level of achievement, students must complete a total of 26 credits, including four credits in math, including Algebra 2, four credits in science, and the credits to fulfill at least one endorsement area. Hey everybody, my name's Kellum, and I'm considering pursuing a career in agricultural sciences. I used to think that agriculture meant just being a member of the 4-H club or the FFA and going to livestock shows all the time. I sat down with my mom last week to look into possible careers and degrees that are available in this area. She told me that agriculture is actually really broad and has a lot of career pathways that flow from this field of study. Check out these career options. Environmental consultant, agricultural engineers, soil and water conservationists, agribusiness, farmers and ranchers, microbiologists, forestry services, agricultural inspectors, meat or produce. Let's hear from my friend Mike who wants to be a veterinarian. You see, Animal science is also a part of agriculture. What's up guys, my name is Mike and I love animals. I knew from a very young age that I wanted to have a career working with them. I want to be a vet. Last time we took my dog into the vet for its annual shots, I talked to her about wanting to be a vet and I asked her what I needed to do to reach my goal. She told me that there were 28 veterinary schools in the United States and that each year nearly 6,000 applicants compete for 2,400 openings. In other words, it's very competitive and difficult to get into veterinary school. That's okay, I'm up for the challenge. My plan is to take as many math and science courses in high school that I can, and when I enroll in college, I'm gonna major in biology or zoology. Some universities offer a pre-veterinary medicine major, so depending on where I go, I have plenty of options on a major course of study. There is a girl that works at our veterinarian's office that is a vet tech. She completed a veterinary technology program at her junior college and earned an Associate of Applied Science degree in veterinary technology. Her plan is to work for a while and save some money and then complete her bachelor's degree. After she completes her degree, she wants to apply to a veterinary school. Isn't that an awesome idea? I guess you could call me a gamer. In my spare time, you can find me playing my favorite video games. I've always enjoyed thinking about how the characters and objects were created and how they move in the games I play. I was stoked to find out I could go to my local community college and earn either a technical certificate or an associate's degree in 3D animation, computer animation, or media arts to learn more about how to create these moving images. Here are a few of the job-related certifications available in this type of career. 2D animation, 3D animation, Game Art, Game Design, Graphic Arts Technology, Graphic Design, Motion Graphics, Web and Interactive Design Specialization. I looked up several community colleges in Texas that offer a form of these programs in video game design where I can earn an Associate of Science degree. Check out these degrees. Associate of Science degree in 2D or 3D animation, Game Art or Design, Graphic Arts, Motion Graphics, Web and Interactive Design Specialization. In my research, I also found there are bachelor's and master's degrees in Computer Animation, Animation Tech Video and Special Effects, Media Arts, Game Design, Graphics and Digital Animation. Do you know what this means? I can take something I'm good at and learn how to become even better. I can see myself working at one of the top companies in the world. Man, if I continue my education, I could even own my own company one day. The business and industry endorsement can really prepare me for a career in something that I love. Hey guys, this is the weekly school newspaper, Hot of the Press. 
Just recently, I met with my school counselor and I told her how I really enjoy writing for the school newspaper. I also told her that I am interested in a career in journalism. She explained how the business and industry endorsement will help me be prepared for a career in journalism. Together, we researched several local colleges with programs associated with journalism. We also researched the different careers in journalism, and I have to tell you, I was so surprised to find out the many options I have to choose from. I always thought that if I pursued a career in journalism, it meant that I could only get a job as a newspaper reporter or maybe a reporter at a television station. But there are many other career options in this field of study, like public relations specialist, sports writer, or social media director, just to name a few. Depending upon the school that you choose, an Associate of Arts degree may be in communication, in journalism, or in speech communication. It really depends upon the community college that you research. The two-year degree will help you be prepared for a bachelor's and master's programs at Texas colleges and universities. Some four-year colleges and universities in Texas offer degrees in mass communication or journalism. Most schools will offer a concentration in broadcasting communication, television and radio communication, or other different concentrations. I just can't wait to get started on my career on journalism. I hope this information helped you learn more about the possible career pathways that fall under the Business and Industry Endorsement. Remember, for the Business and Industry Endorsement, you must earn the following credits.